Hello, welcome to another video on your YouTube channel, Tech Talk with Niket. In this video, we are going to look at Tableau architecture, different components that are there and how are they interrelated. This is a bird's eye view of a rough architecture of where these components are and how, how they can be used for various conditions. So on the left, you have different data sources. Dot hyper that you see is the Tableau extract. Earlier it was dot TDE. Tableau data extract, but later on uh, there was an update, and after that it was dot hyper. What exactly is a Tableau extract? Tableau extract is something where Tableau creates or converts the data into its own readable format for better processing, which is basically a snapshot of data, and you can refresh it to get the latest data that is there. So that is a quick intro about what Tableau extracts are. Now, so over here, you can use Tableau Desktop or Tableau Public and you can query the data source and you can get the result. Or what you can do is you can also create an extract, something like this. In case, if you're interested in preparing the data, you can use Tableau Prep by querying the data and getting the result. And you can generate the data, generate the output and you can either publish it to Tableau Server or to the data source as well. Whatever data you have, once when you're connected to the data, you will start with your analysis of generating a dashboard, doing your analysis. And that might involve creating different worksheets, uh, creating different views, performing calculated fields, so on and so forth. So you generate a dashboard, something like this. And now you can use that, that dashboard and share it with Tableau Reader. So here goes Tableau Reader. So remember that one thing which I told you to keep in mind in terms of Tableau Reader, that whenever you share content with Tableau Reader, always share the data. Now you'll understand why, because Tableau Reader has no connection with the data source. You have Tableau Reader over here, and there's no connection with the data source. That's why. You can also share files for static readers, something like this over here in form of PDFs, images, PPTs, and you can publish it you can publish the dashboard to Tableau Server. Now, this is Tableau Server, where you have a security layer. Tableau Server will query the data source and will fetch the result for you. We'll hold the data in the cache. You have a repository. You have management and automation layer, which is very helpful. Let's say if uh, if I have an if I have an Australian client who logs in at uh, who logs in in my morning or late night, and uh, they are asking me to, you know, drop an email every morning by the time they start uh, with, a, with an image of the dashboard so that they can have a look at it and they can get an idea around how the progress is. So for that, I'm not going to wake up at, uh, let's say three in the morning or one in the morning, or maybe 10 at night and, you know, draft an email and send them. No, I'll automate that entire process by using subscriptions. There are similar kind of automations that you can do in terms of alert as well with Tableau Server. And yes, you can perform management as well using Tableau Server. Using Tableau Server, you, you can also create files for static readers. They're called a static because they cannot modify it. They view it in form of PDFs or images. So that's why they are static readers. And yes, then you have your Tableau Online in the end, which is more like SAS version of Tableau Server. So I've seen organizations, they use Tableau server majorly. I've also worked with organizations who use Tableau online for their online activity where they don't want uh, to stress a lot around the uh, server part and they, they just want to go and use it directly as a service. So they go with Tableau online as well. Okay, so this was the architecture about Tableau. I hope you have learned something from this video. Till the next video. Stay safe and happy learning.